welcome to this book review, which is the best of 10 years of Freemasonry today. A series of articles edited by Michael Bajant. It is a beautifully crafted book with fantastic photographs illustrating what Freemasons really stand for, focusing on things that bring together in a common interest. The editor has chosen a highly eclectic range of contributions, which makes this a very interesting book indeed for Masons and, of course, non-Masons alike. It attempts to show throughout the book that Masons strive to become better human beings in their society, to help create a fairer and more just world in which we live with, without politics or religion, and to improve and harmonise between people. Michael Bajant touches on Masons and their charities, and how, in the UK, much is given from the Masonic Society. For instance, between 1981 and 2006, £72 million were given, which I think is a fantastic amount of money. Matthew Scallion, uh, his article is one of Adolf Hitler's hatred of masonry. In fact, I learned at that point, which I didn't know before, that masons were very, very badly treated, and they were the first to be picked on, rounded up, tortured and uh, executed. This was all headed up by uh, Adolf Eichmann, uh, everyone knows the name. Um, so many Masons were tortured and executed or imprisoned in concentration camps. And I think this is a reflection on society today that people don't know the treatment that Masons have received. Dennis Charmenki discusses the initiate's tradition to its present day uh, while promoting a restoration foundation that shares information, helping lodges in the USA and Europe to discuss preparation for such smaller organisations in the future. Michael Scanlon again writes another fascinating piece regarding Roslyn Chapel uh, near to Edinburgh in Scotland, built in 1446. There are stunning photographs showing this uncanny similarity to Masonic and Knights Templar and the history thereof. To summarise, this book is a very, very interesting book indeed and it contains a vast array of stories with fascinating arrays of uh, photographs, uh, beautifully photographed. I guarantee that Masons and non-Masons alike, even the most experienced Mason, will learn from Freemasonry today, the best of 10 years.